Welcome to our next video here from Howard Piano Industries. Um, today we're going to be taking you uh, through a shopping trip on Craigslist for uh, looking for a used piano. <clears throat> um, we've had other videos on showing you what to look for when you're shopping for a, for a used piano on Craigslist and some things to consider when you're uh, when you're buying a used piano, but uh, here we're going to walk you through an actual uh, shopping trip through the listings of Craigslist uh, in a certain area. We're just going to choose one area. Obviously, Craigslist has listings around the whole world, but uh, we're going to just kind of narrow down one one area, one uh, random randomly picked area for um, for our example today. Now we're going to be showing you some, some examples. Now, obviously. Uh, I'm going to give you commentary on what I think about certain pianos, um, and there's only so much that I can really tell from looking at a uh, picture and a description on a Craigslist listing. So, so um, you know, these are just somewhat my opinions from from the experiences that I've had working with uh, pianos um, and buying and selling pianos over the years. Um, so, just keep that in mind when as we go through this uh, demonstration. Um, so, so we're and we're going to be talking about different brands. Um, some brands I haven't had experience with. A lot of them I have. Um, so, I'm just going to be sharing what uh, what I. I've um, had experience with, and, and uh, we're going to be talking about prices, which obviously can vary from one um, area to another. But uh, I've found that uh, you know, for the most part, at least here in the United States, um, you know, prices tend to be pretty consistent uh, from one area to the next. So, uh, like some some things, larger cities maybe have more things that are more expensive, but uh, pianos. In general, tend to tend to be pretty consistent in price. So we're going to dive in here to our shopping list. Um, we're going to go to the U.S. and uh, just randomly, I'm going to pick, uh, for example, Kansas City in Missouri. Okay, because that's kind of the middle of our country here. And uh, now, when you're when you when you're looking at um, listings, okay, obviously you want to go into the musical instruments if you're looking for a piano. Uh, and what I generally do. Is uh, I narrow it down, just uh, type in the word piano, okay? Because then we won't be looking at guitars and drums and everything else that we may not be looking for. So it kind of narrows down our search a little bit. And here we're going to be showing you um, some examples. You'll see some pictures, and I'm just going to give you some some thoughts on what I see here. Uh, here, this first one: piano needs a good home. If we click on it. This picture, um, for one thing, it's kind of a blurry picture, but uh, it's an acrosonic. Acrosonic pianos were, were fairly decent um, in their day. Uh, this one looks like it could be kind of beat up. Um, the style of it tells me that it's probably from, you know, maybe the 1960s era, some, somewhere around there, um, possibly early 70s, uh, just from the style of it. Um, so um, it's, it's an older piano. It's not terribly old, but, uh, you know, a little bit on the older side. And, and uh, again, it um, it may or may not have a bench. I don't see a bench in the picture, so that's one thing to consider is, you know, you're probably going to want a piano with a bench. Otherwise, you're going to have to get a bench, and that adds to the cost. $120 for this piano is, um, you know, relatively fair, I guess. It might be, you know, a little on the high side, but... Um, it just depends on what other, what kind of other condition it's in and so forth, if it needs other work. Let's go back and um, we'll go to the next one here, and uh, we've got a Chickering Grand Piano um, that uh, looks to be in fairly good condition. Um, they give some details, like tight tuning pins, good bridges, and perfect soundboard. Um, and uh, so it looks like it's been cared for well. It does uh, indicate it's um, from 1930. So it's it's an older piano, but um, you know if it's been cared for well and maintained, um, it could be a decent instrument. And in which it does look like it from the pictures. Again, we can't tell everything from the pictures. It's, they're asking three thousand um, dollars. You know that that's probably for this age of a piano. Um, it's maybe a little on the high side. Uh, it just depends on on what what your budget is and so forth. But um, you know if it's in really really good condition or had some extensive work done to it, um, you know that could be a pretty decent price. Because Chickering pianos were above average quality. Um, you know they're Boston made and so forth, so they're um, they're good qualities. I've had uh, two Chickering pianos at Grand Pianos actually, so um, I've got some experience with those. Um, uh, next one's a. Steinway. Now this one's a dealer. Uh, we're going to just um, 
I'm going to narrow it down by owner because, uh, you know, we going with dealers, I'm not telling you you shouldn't buy a piano from a dealer, but uh, that's outside the scope of our demonstration here. So we'll go on to the next one here. Here's a piano for $450. It's a Kimball console. Looks like it's probably from the maybe late 70s, early 80s. Um, it looks like it's in... Uh, fair condition, you know, it doesn't look real beat up, um, and says it's in good condition. They're asking four hundred fifty dollars. This is probably a, a a fair price for this piano, um, maybe even a, a good value. Um, so th this uh, this would be a good one. And again, Kimball pianos were average, uh, almost average uh, in quality and so forth. So um, there you'll see a lot of Kimball pianos out there, and. Um, uh, you know, again, you want to check, you know, as far as if things work well on it to know if it needs some um, work or not. But, uh, okay, going on to the next one, we got a 2006 Pearl River piano for $1,000. Um, Pearl River console piano. This one's uh, actually a studio size, or um, maybe even some would call it a professional upright. Oh, there we go. Um, yes, because this is a taller piano. This is probably about a 47-inch, 48-inch piano, um, looks like. So it's, it's a taller piano, which is going to give better quality sound than, say, a, a smaller console or even seven, definitely better than a, than a spinet piano. Um, Pearl River are, was a Chinese-made piano. Um, they're, they're fairly well-made uh, for, for Chinese-made um, pianos. Um, and can have a have a nice sound if they're if they're regulated and, and voiced correctly. Um, obviously, not as high end as, as some of the others, like for example a, a Yamaha of the same Yamaha piano of the same size. But um, this is this is actually a, a pretty, fairly good price for this age of a piano and condition and size and everything. So a thousand dollars for that Pearl River. Um, go on to bargain small piano for ninety nine dollars. Let's see what we get for a ninety nine dollars. Okay, for one thing, this is missing the music rack, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, I've seen some people play without a music rack, but uh, um, you know, it's not the best thing. Courier is the brand, um, so it's again this is probably a typical example of getting something for $99. It does have a bench. Looks like it's kind of beat up from the, at least from the pictures from what we can tell. Uh and it's older. This one's probably from uh again the early 70s maybe um for as far as age goes. So um uh and again this is going to be a spinet size piano cuz you can see there's not a lot of uh, height back here behind where the music desk would go, so that's going to be a spinet piano, um, not, not not quite as good quality or or good playability or sound as a taller piano. Uh, we're not going to be looking at digital pianos, which is what this one is. This is a beautiful baby grand piano. Now this one's a Yamaha G1, okay, and y Yamaha pianos are are generally above average quality. Um, a G1 is. Really, their smallest, from what I understand, their smallest grand piano. So it is a baby grand, um, but uh, 3,700. If it's in really good condition, um, like it says it is, um, doesn't say how old it is, but um, you know if it's if it's within the last 20, 25 years old and uh, it's in really good condition, this is an excellent price for for a Yamaha Baby Grand Piano. So again, it, it will depend on the condition. Of course, they don't give any pictures, which makes it a little more difficult to know what kind of condition it is. Um, so that's one one thing that you might want to get a picture from the seller before you go to look at it. Acrosonic Spinet Piano. Again, like I said, Acrosonics, there's a lot of them out there, and they were fairly decent for spinet pianos. This one, again, looks older. This one might be from the 70s, um, $150. Uh, it looks fair, probably fairly typical for what you can get for $150. Not a great deal, but um, uh, you know it's um, it's it might be a fair deal as long as again as long as everything works well and is functioning well on the piano. Okay, moving on, we've got a Baldwin spinet piano. Uh, again, Acrosonic was made by Baldwin, so this one's going to be similar to your to your Acrosonics. Um, $175. This is a very similar style. In fact, 
Um, looks almost like the same piano, but I don't think it's the exact same piano as that Acrosonic. No, the style's a little bit different, but it is very, very, very similar. Um, again, this, uh, just like the last one, uh, it should be typical price for that. Crown piano. Okay, now here we've got an example of a tall, old upright, probably from the early, very early 1900s. Um, this one looks like it's in better condition than some for its for its age and for its size. Um, you know, so it, it looks like it's been well cared for. $150. Now you want to keep in mind with these old uprights, the parts are very old and may be worn out. Um, you know, but there are some out there that uh, that still play well, and still have um, have some life left in them, and aren't uh, aren't um, completely gone yet. So, if you don't mind moving uh, this large, large beast of a piano, and uh, you know having it in your home, and and uh, it does have some nice uh, character features to it. So, so that's something to consider. But uh, you do want to have it um, have check it out really carefully to make sure that there's not a lot of structural damage or um, parts are so worn that they can't be that it would take a lot of work to get it to be playing well so so that was the another Kimball artist console eight hundred and fifty dollars um, this one's probably well, a little bit on the high side for price um, they don't say uh, they said they've had it for over twenty years uh, they don't say exactly how old it is um, this one looks like it's probably from somewhere from the maybe maybe the middle late 80s um, you know so it's uh, uh, you know so it's 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 not new but uh, it, it could be could be a, a decent piano 850 is um, you know I from my experience just a little bit on the high side maybe uh, for price um, next one piano for sale this one looks this is another Kimball Okay, like I see, you'll find a lot of Kimballs. Um, similar style, again, uh, $300. Obviously, that's a better price than $850, but this one looks like it may not be quite as good, con good of condition, and it may be a little bit older. But uh, but there again, you're, you're, their price difference between $850 and $300, so that, that's what you have to compare to. Um, and uh, again, it all depends on the condition of the action. Let's go down to, that's an organ. Um, let's go to this baby grand for $250. Okay, now, not real often you see a, a grand piano for $250, but they are out there. Uh, this is a Kimball. Um, there is a crack on the underside of the piano, which was caused during the move from my aunt's house to ours. I was reading that from the description here. So... Uh, it's got a crack, sounds like a crack in the soundboard, which isn't always really terrible, but uh, but it could cause problems um, with, you know, with buzzing and so forth, and uh, fixing that type of thing in a piano is, um, can be very expensive. So it looks, looks like right here is the crack in the piano, or crack in the soundboard. Okay, now most likely that wasn't caused from moving the piano, is probably more likely caused from um, from uh, environmental changes from year to year so because um, that's usually what causes cracks in a soundboard um, so two hundred fifty dollars uh, it's a good price for a baby grand piano but uh, again you may it may need some work and it does look like it's older this one looks like it's probably from the 40s maybe 1940s uh, something like that so We've jumped down a little further in our search. Um, uh, we've got here Yamaha C1 baby grand piano. The C uh, Yamaha C1 um, anything with a C in front of it is going to be one of their higher end grand pianos. Um, they're asking, well, it says twelve two fifty to thirteen five hundred. Oh, well, it's reduced twelve thousand two hundred fifty dollars. So. Um, and that price, um, you know, if it's in excellent condition, maybe a, a fair price for it. Obviously, a brand new piano of, uh, of a Yamaha C1 is going to be um, quite a bit more. I don't know what the prices are now for, but they might be closer to closer to twenty thousand for a new one. So, um, you know, if it's in like new condition, uh, you know, this is a this is a good value. Um, so that's 
of good uh, Mason Hamlin um, 1914 Model A. This is a 5.8, I think, is the size of a Model A. Um, and it's obviously 100 years old, but um, it looks like it's in really good condition. It looks like it's been refinished and possibly rebuilt. Um, uh, doesn't say in the description if it's been rebuilt, but it certainly um, looks like it could have been at some point in time uh, recently. The plate looks like it's maybe newly pl painted, so so you want to you want to want to check on that because it could be that the the outside was refinished, but the inside is still original, which means it uh, very possibly could need a lot of work done to it. So, but the Mason Hamlin are really good quality pianos. Fourteen thousand dollars for that um, for this piano is um, is a, is is definitely a good bargain if um, if the action has been re replaced and and uh, or re re re, re rebuilt. Um, so you want to, um, that's something to consider because um, Mason Hamlin are, are very good quality pianos. Here's a Boston Grand Piano. Um, Boston pianos are made by Steinway or I should say they're, um, the name is, it's a design of Steinway. They're, the Boston pianos are actually um, manufactured by Kauai, but they're ma manufactured for Steinway under Steinway specifications. So, a five foot ten inch uh, for fourteen thousand um, dollars. It's got a piano disc, which is is definitely a, a real plus. Um, looks like an, it's an older system. This looks like a. I don't know if that's a floppy disc. It looks like a CD drive on it too. So, um, it has discs and CDs. Um, so that's because the, the piano disc systems are very expensive to have put on a piano, so that that certainly increases the value of it. Um, so um, fourteen thousand is probably a fair fair price for for this piano. Um, you know, so that's uh, you know I was disappointed. I was hoping to find maybe some Yamaha or Kawai console pianos because you at least around here you see a lot of those, um, and those are definitely good quality pianos. If you can find a Yamaha um, or Kawai console piano for say in the um, uh, fifteen hundred dollars or less, uh, you know, then you're you're getting a pretty good deal if it's in really good condition. Um, so. But uh, we'll 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 have more of these videos. Um, you know, maybe maybe different uh, locations, uh, looking at different areas of the country or even the different parts of the world. Um, you know, just giving some commentary on uh, what what's out there available for sale and uh, what we can tell from looking at some pictures and a description, and uh, what you can give you some information for when you are looking for a piano to purchase from Craigslist. Uh, so feel free to visit our website. It's HowardPianoIndustries.com.